you know, today is September 11th, 2010. Nine years ago, the tragic events of September 11th, 2001 happened. I was 12 years old. I watched on the TV and I was horrified. Now, nine years later, they are still picking people to blame. You see, I do not know what's wrong with the world. I don't know what's wrong with the world. Because you see, the thing is, the Americans are blaming Muslims. And they got really offended when a Muslim leader wanted to put a mosque near Ground Zero, not on Ground Zero, near it. And you see, some pastor, Christian pastor down in Florida, took offense to this so bad that he decided that he's going to have a Muslim book burning demonstration. Okay. Okay. You see, this guy with the Hulk Hogan mustache makes me ashamed to be a Christian. Makes me ashamed to be a Christian. Do you know why? Because back in the 1930s and early 40s, there was a man who was supposedly a leader who wanted to burn a bunch of Jewish books. That man was Adolf Hitler, and this was the Holocaust. Now, you mean to tell me what the difference is showing anti-Semitic gestures by burning a bunch of Jewish holy books and burning a Muslim holy book here from the 1930s to the 2000s. It's the same thing. Because you see, Muslims were not responsible for the attacks on 9-11. It was extremists. They are not even Muslims. They're sheep. And they're sheep that need to be slaughtered. Okay? You see, I have two Iraqi friends, and you ought to know them by now, Samer and Hussein. And you mean to tell me that they were responsible for 9-11? No, they weren't. You see, the thing is, they managed to get out of Baghdad before the war, and now they're living in Holland, and the Dutch treat them like crap just because they're Iraqi. Okay? I don't play that game. I do not play that game, because that is not the way the world should be. We should all love each other, no matter what skin, color, or or what our heritage is, or what our, or what our uh, country of origin is. You see, the Americans are supposed to be a country of tolerance. They're supposed to be a country of freedom. They're supposed to be a country that are willing to welcome everybody with open arms, yet they're showing for years they've had black slaves, they still hate the blacks, they hate Jews, they hate Catholics, which I am, Irish Catholics, in New York. And they hate, now, they hate Muslims and Iraqis. And you see, there is one, I, I question President Obama's motives by saying that he does not agree with this for the mere reason that it will cause the death, it more likely cause an attack down in Florida, and also it will cause the deaths of numerous allied, numerous allied uh, soldiers, not just Americans, but Canadians, uh, and Irish as well as as well as Iraqi freedom fighters. You know what I mean? I don't I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. You see, September eleventh is supposed to be a day of mourning. A day of mourning for those who lost their lives in this tragic event. It is not supposed to be a day of hate. This is this should be just like the Remembrance Day. This should be just like Remembrance Day or Memorial Day because so many lives were lost because of hatred and racism. Just like in the Second World War, just like in the in, in the Cold War, just like any other conflict, just like in the Holocaust, 
This should be September 11th. This is the day for mourning for those who lost their lives in the Twin Towers and in the and in the Pentagon attack. Okay, this isn't about them being Americans. This is about them as human beings who lost their lives. This should not be a day for hatred. This should not be a day for for pointing the finger at Iraq or Afghanistan or Pakistan or Saudi Arabia or Iran or or Syria or or places in northern Africa. This should not be a day for hatred. This should be a day that we should all lay down our arms and come together as brothers and sisters to love one another, to to understand, to listen to the stories, to listen to to listen to the people who went through that day. You see, it is not about burning religious books. You see, that guy is not a pastor and I hope the hierarchy of the church realize that and take away his his license or whatever it is to, to to practice religion because he is not a Christian. He is a disgrace to the Christian. He's a disgrace to the Christian religion. The Muslim and yeah yeah I understand it is a little too early to put a, a mosque or something like that next to 9/11. But the thing is, it was not Muslims that did 9/11. It was not Muslims that took out the twin towers and, and thousands and thousands of people. It was extremists. They were not even Muslims. They were Islamic extremists. It had nothing to do with the Muslim race. I've known Muslims since uh, since I was 12 to 13 years old, and I did not look at them any different than I looked at my own family because I knew they were my mother, they were my brothers and sisters from another mother. I mean, I felt sorry for them because I knew in one way or another what they were going through because I was hated out for being autistic, and they looked at me as a freak. I mean. The Samer and Hussein, do you think that, you know, just because they're Iraqi, they deserve to go over there and live in Holland? It's supposed to be a country of free freedom of speech and everything like that, and should be hated on just because they're Iraqi? No, they don't. You see, this is not a day for hatred. This should be a day of mourning. And I'm so sick and tired of everybody, instead of, of showing tribute and showing respect to those who died, on this day, this is supposed to be like a holy day, this is for all nations, all religions to get together in one big family and show that we will not give in to terrorism. We need to give in to what we need to give in to, and that is showing love for each other. It has nothing to do with racism. And I'm pleading with everybody who's watching this right now. I'm pleading to the Americans. I'm pleading to the Iraqis. I'm pleading to my fellow Newfoundlanders, my fellow Canadians. Irish, uh, the whole world, I'm pleading them, lay down your arms and instead of giving out bullets and, and, and guns, give out hugs and kisses because this is not a day for hatred. Samer Hussein, I love you, all my Middle Eastern friends, I love you guys to death. You, I, I am your Irish brother, I've said that to the day I'll die, and I love you guys so much. You guys are my brothers, you guys are my blood, you guys are my family. And what's going on right now is a disgrace. This should not happen on this day. There's a time and a place for everything, and this is not. This shouldn't happen in general. But this is not the day that we need to show hatred. This is the day that we need to show respect. I'm Travis Drago, and that's the way it is.